Man, you guys are not gonna believe who I'm standing here next to. This is the legendary Trey Telligman. Now, Trey, this guy fought, what you see out here tonight is called MMA Mixed Martial Arts. That's not what Trey fought. Trey fought old school, NHB, no old barred, back when it was some crazy shit going on back then. Trey, tell us about the old days. First of all, when I hear legendary, all that really means is when I'm old. <laughs> and uh, that's the fact that I gotta deal with. It's, uh, I'm trying to grace. Well, you looking pretty good for an old man. Oh man, it, it hurts. It hurts getting old. So, what was the question? Well, what, what was it like fighting back then? Back then? Uh, actually, Alex was out here fighting now. We were talking about this uh, earlier today, of uh, how things have changed so much. It, back then, it was we had big balls and we loved to fight and it was more about we weren't as skilled as they were. I mean, back in the day, we were the most skilled guys, the Lions and guys, and we were. We were picking up things from watching Brazilian jiu-jitsu tapes and going to Japan and watching some tape moves in the, you know, rings in, uh, moves in the ring. And now it's like people ask me, oh, so you're, you're training Alex. I'm not qualified to train Alex. Mm -hmm. uh, I got Kenny Monday, one, one of the best wrestling coaches, yeah. a gold medalist, is training Alex in wrestling. I got Kenny McClure and, and, and uh, Travis Luter in jiu-jitsu who are two of the best. I got Phil Sawyer in boxing and Kendrick Gulford, guys that, you know, I'm not qualified to train. I'm just, Qualified to be, give them experience and then right. and be there for them. Now, uh, back in the, the old school days, uh, who was your, what was your favorite fight back then? Uh, my favorite fight would have to be Vochenchen because he was, at the time I fought him, he was number one and undefeated and I was like a 80 to 100 target. Uh, like that was a shocker. That was yeah, a shocker. Yeah, I was supposed to get my ass kicked. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you a little funny story real quick that uh, before the fight I was extremely confident. Uh, I had my, my trainers telling me that I was the better fighter. Uh, and then I get to the, the ring, and we go out and check the ring out a couple hours before the event. And I get out to the ring, and, and, and I'm not, I was 36 years old at the time. And I go out and go to the rope and warm it up, and then uh, Heath Herring comes in, jumps over the top rope, starts bouncing around with an aerial cartwheel, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> and a minute later, uh, I don't forget his name from, from Holland, comes in, jumps over the top rope, bounces around, does a backflip, and when that happened, my heart sunk, and I thought, I'm too old for this shit. I mean, seriously, I thought, man, do I not have a grasp on reality? Am I, am I kidding myself? Then we go backstage, I sit back there for three hours, my heart pumping, I'm nervous. Uh, I normally was pretty cool, I was never really that nervous. I'm going, man, got up, started warming up, getting my wraps on, started going, and, you know, a few minutes, from slowly, slowly, about 20 minutes into it, I'm firing on all cylinders, I'm, and I sort of stop, I start smiling, I went, yeah, I belong, I can do this. Yeah, right, sir. And then the, the fight with Igor happened, and, uh, How's his punching power? He can hit. <laughs> yeah, he but you took it. Yeah, he can hit. Yeah. Uh, well, if you notice that fight, I kept my left hand up pretty good, <laughs> which I used to be notorious for keeping down. When, when you have the fear factor going, it makes you a lot smarter. That's right. That's right. Don't want to take one of those shots. Ego was brutal in his Ego was brutal. So, Trey, great pleasure. It's an honor speaking with you. Yeah, Thank man, you I'm having fun, guys. Thanks right. a lot. And good luck tonight. Thank you, sir.